Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create mosaics using sea glass. And today I'm going to tell you a bit about Beachcombing Magazine. So I live in Nova Scotia and in Nova Scotia the winters are cold and the beach is full of snow and ice and the wind is blowing and it's not very welcoming to sea glass hunting. So I find I really miss the beach. So I have to tell you yesterday I was so excited when I got my most recent copy of Beachcombing Magazine in the mail. This is the first edition of this magazine. It used to be called Glassing Magazine and I have all of them except for the first edition. I was a little bit late to the party and I missed the very first copy. But these magazines are just beautiful. They're full of pictures of sea glass and stories of sea glass and destinations for sea glass hunting and all things beachy which I really love. So I've really enjoyed those magazines and I would highly recommend so them. So a second thing I'd recommend to you if you're really missing the beach in the middle of the winter is to read a good book about sea glass. And we all know that there aren't endless supplies of sea glass books, but there's a lot of good ones out there. So I'm just going to tell you about a few that I really love. I really like this one, A Passion for Sea Glass, mostly because it has a lot of great pictures and good ideas about things that you can do with your sea glass. Another book I'd recommend is A Sea Glass Journey by Terry Hall. Terry Hall is a sea glass jewelry artist who lives in Prince Edward Island and this is an absolutely beautiful book. She does beautiful work and you, you just you absolutely love it. And then of course I have to mention my book Windows to the Past Creating Sea Glass Mosaic Art because that's what I do. I create sea glass mosaic So art. the third thing that I'd recommend that you do to combat the winter blues is to join a Facebook group. I really like sea glass lovers. I get a daily dose of beautiful pictures of sea glass finds that people have found all over the world because not all places have their beaches all snowed and iced out in the winter time. So I hope this has given you a few ideas of how you can really enjoy sea glass even though it's the middle of the winter and you may not be able to make it to the beach. Mm -hmm.